What the Tech is sponsored by Tennessee Wesleyan University, now offering online degree completion programs in business and criminal justice. Apply online today. A new study shows sex traffickers are using Facebook to recruit and groom their victims, and many times, parents could be in the next room. The exhaustive 20-year study found that in a majority of cases where sex traffickers went online to find teenagers, they used Facebook nearly 70% of the time. Our consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker takes a closer look at the study and what parents need to know. The Human Trafficking Institute gathered this information from federally prosecuted cases and found that in most cases, the sex traffickers went online to find their victims. And in a majority of those cases, they used Facebook. And one takeaway is it can happen like that. It happens so quickly that, that they can just kind of get hooked in and start feeling like they've made a friend. Lindsay Romerson is the director of legal engagement for the Human Trafficking Institute. When victims are providing personal information on their online platforms, it's, it's a perfect opportunity for a trafficker to say, like, how do I get a hook in? Well, here's a, here's a profile right here. It isn't just Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, online gaming platforms, apps that allow messaging. Traffickers are using anything they can to target and communicate with potential victims. Anything that breaks down the barriers that makes it easier for traffickers to meet and recruit their victims is going to be, you know, a readily usable, easily usable tactic. It also cuts down on the need to meet face to face. People with pre-existing vulnerabilities are often targeted. So they start sharing personal information that then the trafficker is able to extrapolate and use and target vulnerabilities. Any communication with strangers online, with people that, that, that youth do not know, can be really dangerous. And I think that you know parents need to be careful about unattended screen time. And while we have concentrated on young victims, the fact is sex traffickers are also targeting adult women with the same tactics. Bottom line for parents, this is happening more often than you probably think. That's What the Tech, I'm Jamie Tucker. The Human Trafficking Institute gathered its findings from court records and media accounts. According to the Institute, no government agencies gathers and reviews data on human trafficking.